In this Blender tutorial, I'll show you how you can use multiple UV maps on an object to place different textures on different parts of the object. So one example of where this can be very useful is if you have some sort of icon that you want to place on another material. So this is a Supermarine Spitfire model that I created, and I have a video showing you the creation process. If you want to check that out, I'll have a link in the description. But basically, I have this texture here, and this is a bump map which I painted, but then I also have this image here, which is the logo on the airplane. And I wanted to place both of the images on the materials, but I needed to use a separate UV map to place this icon on the airplane. So for example, I have this basic brick texture and I've placed the brick texture on a cube. But let's say that I want to add an icon on top of the material. Well, to do this, I can go to the add menu and I can search for the mix color node. We'll put the mix color here in between the base color and the base color of the shader. So now from my file browser, I'm going to click and drag and drop in this little warning icon. And I'm going to plug the color of this warning icon up to color B and the base color is going to go into color A. Now, if I preview this mix here, the factor is blending between them but this image here has an alpha channel. So if I preview the alpha channel, it's gonna be black and white. So I can put the alpha as a mask into the factor of the mix shader. And that way the icon will just show up in one area, but then where it's transparent, the brick will show up. Now the icon is in the wrong spot on the object. So if I go over here to the UV editing workspace, I can scale the UV editing and I could change the size of the icon and kind of move the icon around. Now the icon is repeating itself, which I'll show you how to fix in a moment. But the problem with this is that as well as moving the icon, we're also moving the brick texture. So what we can do is we can make two different UV maps and one UV map will be for the brick, but then we can add another UV map, which is gonna be for the icon. So to do this, you can click here on the shading workspace and then you're gonna click right down here on the object data properties and you can open up the UV maps tab. Now on default there is just one UV map and on default when you add an image texture the image textures use the default UV map of the object but we can create a separate UV map by clicking on this plus icon here and then we can click on this to rename it and I can rename it to UV map icon. So now what we can do is go to the add menu and we can search for the UV map node. We'll drop this here, and then we can plug the UV into the vector of this icon here. Now we can click on the drop down, and the default one is the UV map, so that's not gonna change anything. But if we change it over here to the UV map icon, this is now gonna be a separate UV map. Now, right now, this UV map doesn't look any different. So to change the UV map, we can click over here to go to the UV editor. Then we need to make sure we are previewing the new UV map that we created. So you can scroll your scroll wheel over here, and you can click right here, and you can see there's the first UV map, and then there is the icon UV map. So make sure you select this one in the dropdown. So now you can press the A key to select the UVs. You can scale them, you can move them around, you can rotate them, and you can place the icon wherever you want. Now you can see that it's repeating itself. So to fix the repeating, we can click over here to the shading workspace. And on the icon here, we want to click on the repeat and just change this to clip. So it's just using one. So that's how you can use multiple UV maps to place different textures on different locations on your object. So I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching. And again if you'd like to check out my Supermarine Spitfire creation process video I'll have a link to that in the description and you can also check out more Blender quick tips by watching my Blender quick tips tutorial playlist. Link to that will be right up there on the end screen. But I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.